Google Maps is one of the greatest inventions of the modern time. It's totally changed the world. So long as you've got a charged phone and quite a lot of patience, you'll never be lost again. But despite its promo, it doesn't exactly map the entire world, because some places are just not allowed to be on Google Maps. These are the 20 banned locations on Google Maps. Number 20. Prison de Montluçon, France. The internet is a pretty significant thing. If you've grown up with it always being there, then you're likely not aware of how difficult that navigation and maps and such old-fashioned things once were, and a realm in which it was especially tricky was for any prisoners who were planning an escape. Now I know, I know, it's not the first thing that springs to mind, but the advent of things like Google Maps and sat-navs and stuff have really made life a whole lot easier if you're attempting to plan a prison break. Except, it would seem, if you're trying to do that in France. Yes, in 2018, the French government asked Google to remove all images of their prisons from the internet. This was after France's notorious jailbreak king had successfully escaped from prison using a helicopter and a whole bunch of extremely useful images that he had found on Google to help plan his escape. Using aerial images of the facility, he had been able to determine that the courtyard of the prison did not have helicopter nets, and it had been easy for his accomplices to hijack a helicopter and land in the yard, break him out of an adjacent building, and then escape by air. Apparently, the judge who approached Google about the problem of privacy of these sensitive locations also expressed concerns about other types of buildings and institutions being so easy to look at on the internet. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the sweet topic. Strap in for a tasty little information nugget. Google is hiding secret places in Google Maps, and one such place is a forbidden location deep within the Himalayan mountains. Nobody knows exactly what's going on there, but what is known is that both the Indian and Chinese governments have agreed that they don't want it featured on Google Maps. More interesting than the fact that this place exists is how it has united both countries. Whatever is hidden there, nobody in Asia wants it known by the rest of the world. But what do you think is hidden there? As always, you can let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below using the hashtag Sweet Topic. Number 19. French Polynesia like many Western powers during the 20th century, France used its colonies as sites to perform secret and dangerous nuclear testing. These were often islands in remote areas of the world, so that people were less likely to notice what terrible things that they were up to. This is one such location. It would be used extensively by France for nuclear tests between 1966 and 1996. It's a tropical island in French Polynesia, and when you look at it on Google Maps, well, it's just kind of weird. One half of the island is visible, but the other half has been blurred so as to become unviewable by internet users. This caused people some puzzlement as the island has allegedly not been in use for any nuclear testing since 1996, when then-President Jacques Chirac signed an order to dismantle all nuclear testing facilities. The island is still out of bounds for any visitors, though. Well, it's said that some of the tests here were 200 times more powerful than that of the that were dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki at the end of the Second World War. So, people should probably be nowhere even remotely close to this place. Apparently, though, the French troops still guard the island, which is the reason that is given for the blurring on Google Maps. I mean, what else could it be? Aliens? Number 18. 2207 Seymour Avenue, Cleveland, Ohio. Although this house no longer exists as it has been demolished, it is still blurred out for the sake of decency on Google Maps Street View. 
Three girls, Michelle Knight, Amanda Berry, and Georgina De Jesus, were abducted from Cleveland, Ohio, between the years of 2002 and 2004. The man responsible was named Ariel Castro. He then imprisoned them in his house at 2207 Seymour Avenue in Cleveland, Ohio. They would be trapped there until 2013 when Amanda Berry managed to escape with her small daughter and made contact with the police. The other young women were rescued a couple of hours later, and their captor was arrested. He would be charged with rape and aggravated for his crimes. He would receive life imprisonment and 1,000 years without the possibility of parole. He then took his own life after only one month in prison. The crimes that he committed against these young women were so heinous that it was demolished in the summer of 2013. Number 17. La Hague French Nuclear Facility this is a French nuclear fuel recycling facility responsible for managing nuclear fuels from across Europe and Asia, and as such is considered the world leader in this field. It's blurred out on Google Maps like many large-scale facilities which are dealing with deadly stuff that could be used or even exploited by those with ill intent. Naturally, it is best not to show so many details all over the internet all willy-nilly, and also there are the military origins of the place. It probably also has more than a smidge to do with that. Originally, La Hague would be used as a site for extracting plutonium in order to build an atomic and then in 1961, it began the construction of a center for the treatment of used fuel in the process of plutonium extraction. This became fully operational in 1966, and its military ties were then severed in 1969, when La Hague became a fuel processing plant. This is when it began to draw lots more anti-nuclear activists to demonstrate against the facility and had several notifications from the Nuclear Safety Authority about its lack of regulation use and, despite all of it, it still continued to expand over the years. Number 16. Jeanette Island, Russia Sometimes the people who spend all their time staring at the Google Maps waiting for stuff to happen actually do spot something that they deem a bit tiny weird. Sometimes they're just staring at the old maps and it's all incredibly dull. Well, just as you would expect it to be. To be perfectly honest, even this seems pretty uninspiring to me, but then what the heck do I know about the thrill of satellite imagery and map anomalies? I can barely even find my trousers to put them on in the morning. This is Jeanette Island or it was, it's recently disappeared from Google Maps satellite images and has apparently been squiggled over with a dark blob. Although to be perfectly honest, it did not look like the sort of place where a vast amount of thrilling stuff was going on before. Pictures of the island showed what seemed to be essentially just a snowy rock. However, these days, it's officially Russian territory and they like to operate with an air of mystery about such things. It's been speculated that there's now a military base there, hence the blurring, but there could just as easily be nothing there at all. That is kind of the point of scratching it out so that nobody can see it, because nobody is meant to know. What do you make of this secret fuzzy imagery? What's being hidden there? Or do you think it's all just a ruse? Let me know your ideas in the comments section down below. Number 15. Black Hole here we are again using Reddit as though it were some sort of place where we might find some actual information. Silly old us. The story goes like this. Some bloke was staring at Google Maps on the internet one day when lo and behold, he spotted a black hole in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. Now, as is traditional in internet-y circles, he just had to let all the other internet-y people know about his clever, clever discovery. The medium for this is naturally a post on Reddit. This is the bastion of all honesty and clarity where absolutely no nonsense is ever to be found and only the most well-researched information is ever uploaded. Funnily enough, it turns out that this black hole was not quite as well researched and confirmed as you would expect from such a reliable source as Reddit. In fact, despite a whole lot of other super clever and helpful thoughts from other Reddit users, like maybe it was a military base or the island from the television series Lost or even the Bermuda Triangle, it turned out to be something else altogether. It 
was simply just an island. Not blurred out or covered up or anything, but rather it's a place named Vostok Island that's located about 400 miles from Tahiti in the Pacific Ocean. It's an uninhabited island that's covered with dark green trees, and these grow so densely that they can appear to be a dark uniform colored blob when viewed from above. And that's really it. There's nothing else to see here. Number 14. Marcoule, France Next up, we have yet another mysterious blob of land, where this time we're in France. It seems that France has really been busy getting Google Earth to blur out all kinds of places. What in the world could they possibly be up to over there? This is the site of yet another French nuclear power plant, and seems like they're really into nuclear stuff in that country, and they like to keep it very, very secret. This is the Marcoule nuclear site, and although we can't actually see it on Google Earth, we know that it's there. In fact, it has been there since 1952 and was one of the first of France's apparently numerous nuclear nuclear research facilities. It seems that secrecy is in order, however, as they do not want all the kerfuffle of things like protesters and demonstrations against nuclear power. Marcoule has two nuclear reactors, and it's also a place where French researchers are busy working on new technologies in the field. And the endlessly difficult task of how to decommission old nuclear sites and deal with all of that dangerous old waste. In the past, Marcoule was not actually blurred out on Google Earth. It had previously been possible to see all of this now super secret location. So did something change? Are they doing something extra sinister that they want to hide from nosy parkers? What do you think about all this shady business? Number 13. Why has Google Street View hidden these two Stockton houses? When you begin to really poke around on Google Street View, you soon start to notice that they've been blurring out people's faces, and car license plates, and other such stuff, presumably to protect a person's privacy and not wind up in a whole load of litigation. But why would it be blurring out entire buildings? The plot does thicken. And before you go thinking that they might have something kind of cool that they might be hiding, it turns out that this is actually just a really ordinary house on a really regular street in Stockton on Tees in the UK. And according to the woman who lives there, and has done so for more than 20 years, there is no earthly reason whatsoever that it should be obscured by a big blurred square when you look at it on Street View. But of course, that is exactly what they would say if there was a reason to hide it now, isn't it? What do you reckon this building could be? A secret government safe house? Or perhaps it's aliens? Of course, it could also be a nuclear facility. Let's see about it together in the comments section down below. Number 12. Poland Military Center here we are again with a big mystery space on Google Maps. This time we're in Poland, scratching our heads in puzzlement. The entire area in the south of Poland that's close to the city of Krakow has been left in a big smudge of nondescript blurriness. If you do attempt to zoom in on the area, all you're able to see is what appears to be a large kind of complex that's been pixelated out of recognition. But despite this top secret sort of appearance, people do know that this is the headquarters of the DWS, that is the Polish Special Forces. This is the place that was known to have been where Poland's elite armed forces were trained and from which they were commanded. It's currently still blurred out on Google Maps for what we can likely deduce are security reasons. It's not smart to show everyone in the entire world exactly what all your military bases look like, especially from the air. It's kind of traditional for any potential enemies to exploit that kind of information now, isn't it? Although, to be honest, these days everybody has a drone that they can simply sling up into the air and see whatever they'd like from an aerial perspective. So Google Maps is probably not going to stop a whole lot of the more determined nosy parkers from seeing what is going on. Number 11. A giant square section of Almeria, Spain. Next up, we're in Spain, in the town of Almeria, down on the coast in the southern part of the country. And Google Maps is up to its old tricks again. There's a whole big block of space that is completely blurred out, right there in the middle of the city. All the streets and buildings around can be seen quite clearly, and yet this one is a bit seemingly so super secret that nobody is allowed to look at it. 
What could they possibly be hiding there? Is it an alien medical testing facility? Could it just possibly be a massive heap of nuclear waste? A secret underground bunker, perhaps? Or is it just something much more benign? You know, like a boring old government building or some military offices or some such bureaucratic bore fest that it is just a blurred out area of nothing much at all. If you were going to obscure a lot of important places for security purposes, the smart thing to do would be to just also blur a whole load of places that had no significance whatsoever. That's really the best way to be sneaky, muddy the waters, and confuse your enemies. That's a top tip for you, free of charge from the fancy banana. You are so very welcome. Number 10. Blurred Beaches, Balearic Islands now, the links that some people will go to to get a great spot on the beach are getting to be a bit too extreme. This is a strange sighting on the Balearic Islands in the Mediterranean Sea. This string of islands is an archipelago that's located off the southern coast of Spain, made up of four islands. These are Mallorca, Menorca, Ibiza, and Formentera. The weird blobby bit on the map, however, is located in Menorca. Actually, that island has two out-of-bounds for your eyeballs areas together. It's caused people to ponder exactly what's taking place there. It is difficult to see what precisely might be the reason for hiding two areas of a beach on this Mediterranean island. The first part appears to be that of an historic old fort that's called La Molla, which is actually a tourist destination with a visitor center and everything. The second blurred area? Well, it's just a total mystery to people. It seems to look like a weird white hole when viewed from above, but it's blurred out, so it's impossible to discern precisely what might be going on down there. There is, of course, the possibility that it could be a naturist beach, and that Google is simply protecting everyone's modesty. How scandalous. Number 9. Faroe Islands, North Atlantic Ocean Located in the North Atlantic Ocean, the Faroe Islands are an archipelago which is part of Denmark and is governed by that Scandinavian nation. In recent times, a whole swath of this place became off-limits for Google Maps users. To begin with, lots of people were extremely puzzled by the blurred bits of these seemingly idyllic islands, but then it all became clear. In June of 2022, the Danish government and the Faroe Islands would sign an agreement in which they had planned to place a strategic air surveillance radar on the archipelago. This location was chosen because of its central position for monitoring any activities in the Arctic. It was part of a statement by the Danish Defense Ministry who said that the radar was being placed there as protection for all of Europe in this time when security is threatened. The radar actually keeps a watch on the airspace between Britain, Norway, and Iceland, and has a range of about 300 to 400 kilometers. Well, mystery solved. Number 8. Mysterious Lines on China's Gobi Desert Could this be the proof that we're looking for? Could it possibly be? Aliens? Google Maps satellite imagery has given us all so many new and mostly unnecessary insights into places on planet Earth but it's also opened up a whole can of conspiracy theory worms. These are some weird patterns that were spotted by Google Earth out there in the Gobi Desert in China. There have been every sort of suggestion that you could possibly imagine, the media's favorite being that these are weapon testing sites. Beyond that, the conspiracy theories get much more specific and a whole lot more scary. There are some suggestions that these lines actually depict the layout of streets in Washington, D.C. or New York City, and naturally, there are those alien rumors. In this instance, people think that their message is to, or even from, extraterrestrials. But as time has gone on, it's become quite clear to those in the know that these are almost certainly used to calibrate Chinese spy satellites. The general idea seems to be that the zigzag lines are used by cameras on the satellites in order to focus and then orient themselves in space. This isn't really any kind of news to any of the major nations on Earth. China's well known to operate spy satellites, so it seems quite the logical conclusion that these weird grids are all about those machines. Could it still be aliens though? China is not exactly forthcoming in its explanations. Number 7 Door to Hell, Darvaza Gas Crater. 
Next up, we have a place that could be blurred on the map because it's just super embarrassing to be honest, and plenty of people would really like it if it were to just actually disappear. Back in 1971, in the Soviet Union, in present-day Turkmenistan, a drilling rig stumbled upon the gates of hell. Or at least it goes something like that anyway. The Darvaza gas crater, also known rather menacingly as the gates of hell, has been causing a kerfuffle ever since it was first accidentally opened. The drilling uncovered an underground cavern, and when that cavern collapsed, it formed a massive deep pit which measured more than 300 feet across. Not only were they now left with a gigantic hole, that big old hole was now leaking noxious gases. So they did what any good Soviet-era drilling rig team would do. They set it on fire and then left for a few days. When it turned out that when they came back, that nasty hole was still on fire. In fact, many decades later, it still is. So it would appear that the entrance to hell may indeed have been opened up and exist to this day in Central Asia. The trouble is that 40 years worth of open fossil fuel burning is less than ideal and also a massive waste of natural gas. And it's a bit of a bummer, but in terms of disruption, the location of this fiery pit in the middle of the desert is a lot less problematic than some of the other long burning blunders of history. At least it's not like the 1962 trash fire in Centralia, Pennsylvania, that accidentally caught a coal seam on fire and has been burning ever since, causing the entire place to have been evacuated and abandoned due to the poisonous carbon monoxide that spews out all the live long day. But it does look as though the time has finally come for the door to hell. In January of 2022, leaders of Turkmenistan would announce that the door to hell would finally be closed. He stated that the burning hole was wasting valuable resources and it was high time that those flames were extinguished. So far, not so much though. It's not the first time that this same announcement has been made. Back in 2010, the government of Turkmenistan stated that they would be extinguishing the fire and yet that time was never accomplished. Fingers crossed that they have better luck with it this time around. Number 6. Area 51 Almost everybody has heard of Area 51, but almost nobody has ever actually been inside the place. It's so shrouded in myth and history, and yet it remains extremely secret. Firearms and guns are prohibited within the boundaries of the Nevada test. Google decided to blur it out so that people wouldn't add any new theories to the massive heap of stories about this place based on what they might have thought they could see. But hiding it just adds a whole extra layer of intrigue now, doesn't it? Area 51 is a secret United States Air Force military installation in the middle of the desert at Groom Lake in the south of Nevada. Over the decades, Area 51 has been at the center of a lot of conspiracy theories about aliens and UFOs and all that fun stuff. And despite all of the stories about this place, the only thing that's ever been officially confirmed is that this base is used as a flight testing facility. Since the 1950s, there's been so much speculation about the site. Umpteen UFO sightings have occurred in the vicinity, and it's now a kind of mecca for alien hunters. It was during the 1980s that the biggest conspiracy theory really gained traction when a man who alleged to have worked at Area 51 claimed that the government used the site for examining alien spacecrafts that that they had recovered. The military installation itself is, naturally, not exactly a welcoming place, despite the amount of unsolicited attention that it receives. The base is marked out by posts watched by a zillion security cameras and covered by motion detectors. It's also patrolled by guards who dress in camouflage. They're known as camo dudes by devotees. The guards refuse to answer any questions about the base or indeed their employers, like a shadowy contractor known as ACOM. Trespassers are warn that deadly force will be used against them, and there's no mistaking what that means. Number 5. Mysterious Target Symbol in Nevada Desert here we have something strange that wasn't hidden by Google Maps, but was actually revealed by it. This massive target symbol appears to have been etched into the desert landscape of Nevada and looks to all intents and purposes like the sort of target that would be associated with shooting practice, but what in the world would this be doing out here in the desert? It's already a place that's known for being a hot spot amongst alien hunters, so these kinds of weird symbols really do add to that mythology. According to some people, however, there are several symbols of 
these sorts all over the region. They say that they were used often by the United States government and NASA during the 50s and 60s, and that they're actually photographic calibration targets, which they used to check that their spy camera stuff was working correctly. Not as big of a mystery as aliens, but still pretty intriguing stuff. Number 4. Atlantis Google has been accused of doing some rather cheeky stuff by some of the more eagle-eyed users of its maps, but this accusation may be just a teeny weeny bit far-fetched. This blurry bit of Google Earth is being alleged, by some people, to be the lost mythical city of Atlantis. Because yes, if this place of mystery and legend had actually been discovered, then the best thing to do with it would be to hide it from everyone. Well done, Google! There are naturally denying these accusations. Located off the coast of Africa, about 600 miles from the Canary Islands, this is a strange bit of Google Earth that has a few people noticing that it looked a little bit peculiar. They said that it seemed to resemble a grid pattern, like that of a street map, but to be honest, that's really all they have. Nobody's budging on the story, so what do you think, dear viewers? Is this Atlantis found at last? Are Google hiding it from everyone? And why, oh why, would they do such a thing? Go on and express your opinion about it in the comments down below. Number 3. A Secret Space Program on Mars well, April Fool's Day does have a lot to answer for, but seriously, Google, what the heck were you thinking? People take this Mars stuff really super seriously, and now the internet is full of stories about secret colonies on Mars, for goodness sake. Yes, this is a hilarious joke image that Google uploaded to its own maps to show the so-called satellite imagery of the buildings on the surface of Mars, all of which can be clearly seen across the surface of the red planet powered by solar solar panels. Google made up a little story of their own to accompany their pictures, stating that they had built a storage facility out there on Mars. Hilarious work, guys! The conspiracy theorists really needed a bit more juice. Oh yes, they really did. Number 2. Severnaya Semla, Russia Although it wasn't even included on a map until after 1915, this large archipelago in the Russian Arctic is again not to be found on the map. Just what is being censored by Google Earth is anyone's guess, but it is a remote and freezing Russian-owned island in the middle of the Arctic, so what is your best guess? Because nobody seems to know, or is even willing to commit any kind of answer, about what may be hiding beneath the mess of pixels on Google Earth. I'm actually really hoping for something friendly and fun like Disneyland Arctic, or maybe a lovely piece of land art. Number 1. Colonel Sanders Face Every KFC in the United Kingdom, there are some very strict privacy laws regarding the use of people's faces. Google Maps has, therefore, been obliged to blur the faces of all the people that may have been on the street when their camera car drove through the area. But they've also taken this privacy to the extreme. The well-known face of Colonel Sanders is seen all across the world on the front of every Kentucky Fried Chicken fast food restaurant. He's known as a logo, rather than being a real person these days, especially since he died all the way back in 1980. Oh, and that image that's used of him? It's literally an artist's caricature of his face. Google is certainly taking this responsibility towards the privacy rights of people's faces very seriously indeed. That's all from Google's secret map tinkering for now. Have you ever spotted anything suspicious going on in Google Earth? As always, be sure to tell me all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time. I love you.